Hey everybody, thanks for listening to Off Your Flosser Podcast. We are brought to you in part by the Auto Flosser. The easy solution to a complex problem, I think I just made it more complex than it needed to be. Dexterity issues, access, you can't see what's going on, Auto Flosser, and go Auto Floss yourself. Get that tip right yep. underneath the edge of the bridge, zippity zap, underneath the, the ortho brackets. I'm doing a lot of hand talking here. And, uh, You're voguing, uh, actually. Totally, yes. right? There you go. Give it to your patients. Put it in their hands. Show them how to use it. Become an ambassador. And the bottom line is, you know, we got to keep our patients flossing and, and looking good and staying healthy and makes our yes. hygiene jobs easier, makes maintenance a breeze. Yes. Everybody wins. There's really no downside except for yeah. five minutes. It's going to take you to look at the video. So check out the link yeah. in the description. Guys, thank you so much. And go auto floss yourself. Go auto floss yourselves. Boom. I need to apologize in advance for my voice, and I'll probably sneak in some coughs here and there because I've been sick. Sunday was the absolute worst. Uh, today I'm doing a lot better, but I still have a, all this crap, and then I'm still coughing a little bit. Damn, son. What's going on with the um, summertime sickness, bro? Eh, I don't know. I don't know. John was sick, and I feel like I got what he got, but he goes, that we didn't have the exact same symptoms. And I was like, well, I mean, two different people could have the same thing, but different symptoms. So I think you still got me sick, brah. That's what I told him. No, I didn't say Probably. that. I don't want him to feel bad. I yeah. don't want to jinx him. Oh, well. Yeah. I'll get over it. I am yeah. getting better, so I'm on the mend. Okay. Well, it's good to but. hear your voice, man. Even Thanks. as shitty as it is right now. So we've uh, thanks. <laughs> I sound like uh, I'm, I'm Rhonda. I've been smoking. Anyway, Paul Mall that's kind of what I feel like. <laughs> Unfiltered. <laughs> do they still make Paul Mall? See, you do you remember that? Do you remember that brand? Yes, they. Yes, they they still have it. I was in behind. I, it's funny you should say that. I was behind a person at the gas station, and he asked for a short Paul Mall red short. And there you go. And now we're talking about it. All right, so <laughs> let's, 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 let's take care of business. So we got what? Episode 45? 145? 145, yes. Carlos. We're Dude, getting closer and closer to that 150. It almost seems too much. And you know what happens at 150, right? We die. <sighs> yeah. <sighs> Goodbye, cruel world. It's all because the Grim Reaper's coming for us. Bro, he's coming hard. He's from North Carolina. And he's coming double sickles. Just Yeah. Do we want to expand on that? Yeah, he's doing the nunchuck sickle oh. thing. Uh, what we're talking about is the Carolina Reaper. It's hotter uh, by, like, what, one double. and a half times hotter or double, okay, than the ghost pepper, which we Almost performed the year. ghost pepper challenge. Was that episode 100? I think yes, it was. Ma'am. Yeah, I don't remember yeah. anything, any of the so, other episodes. I remember 100th episode I know, clearly, very vividly. Yeah. It was yeah. a near-death experience. That was happening. And we're horrible. about to have a, a full death, full-on yeah. death experience. So, it's so spicy yeah. that it'll kill you and bring you back. That's that's how good this pepper is. Yeah, pepper yeah. Is. I mean, yeah. It, it has to restart your heart, I figure. Oh, man. But uh, So I'm, I'm really excited to be talking to you. Why you're that? like you're because you're super famous now Shoot. like super uber famous right now <laughs> <laughs> uh, from what no. i heard you did you did amazing and you had people rolling everybody <sighs> said you killed it uh I'm, I'm proud of you i think it was oh, awesome thanks, man and yeah. I get to ride your coattails because you talked about off your flosser. So, and I'm yeah. just sitting here at home like a loser, Dying. you know, getting sick, and you're out there working it like a a pro. Yeah. Well, I'll say this. Um, first off, I just want to thank everybody involved. Um, starting off with my boy uh, Elijah, our boy, I should say. Yes, um, our boy. He couldn't make it mm -hmm. at mm -hmm. other commitments. I don't know what it was He's exactly. He's a busy man. Busy, busy. Actually, I don't even think he's speaking anymore. I think that's what it was. And he goes, um, listen, uh, Cresso or B, they need a speaker for Under One Roof. Are you interested? Mm. I was like, yeah. And he's like, all right. So uh, I yes, gave please. him your name. <laughs> They're going to call you. Just go ahead and go through the, jump through the hoops and, you know, thread yeah, the needle. Do what, do what you got to do. do. Get in there. 
And uh, so I've been working with Andrea Johnson from, um, you know, mm. Crestor Me, and she's fantastic, super, super sweet. She wasn't nice. there. Um, but in her place, we had our, our good friend Deborah Carrier from Twice as Nice Scrubs. I know, I saw. So, That's so awesome. She was on the ground, sort of directing everybody where to stand. Yes. You know, and we had like a, like seems, a rehearsal. She like seems super a hours before. organized and stuff. So, yeah. That's, Sonia that's Dunbar. Good. Um, Amber yeah. Lovatos. Yeah. Oh, yeah. You know her. That's awesome. Oh, yeah. And yeah. Dr. A. I, I, we met her at uh, Smiles at Sea, Amber. She did amazing. Oh, she yeah. She was on Dentistry. She's got talent. Mm -hmm. Yeah, she's talented. And, yes. oh, she beautiful. She the top ten. Beautiful soul. Yeah, just a sweet, yeah. sweet person, and um, just, yes. just I don't know. It's almost like, um, you know, it's it's weird. Like I, I don't have any natural born sisters. You know, unnaturally born, yeah. a couple. You yes. know, they're vampires that, and that's werewolves. That's me, unnatural and unnatural. But I've adopted. You haven't seen me in the moonlight, have you? No. <laughs> no, and I don't. Yeah. Yeah, I get really hairy and my nails grow long. And John's like, "Would you just shave your legs already?" Dude, seriously, this is enough, <laughs> Sandy. I'm, I can't. You're cutting me to pieces. Um, yeah, no, we're so gonna I, have to start braiding that. Sorry. <laughs> no, no, what I'm saying is, is, is I have a I've adopted a bunch of uh, honorary yeah. sisters, and it, it's just it's yeah. just um, I gotta be honest with you, the the response was. And I, I I don't I hope this doesn't come across as, as bragging. It was mm -hmm. so over the top, like, um, yeah. like you know, there was a a, a young uh, reception afterwards, you know, so they had yes. you know drink tickets yeah. and you get a glass of wine or a beer, cocktail, or whatever. Oh yeah, so uh, I'm yeah. walking around. I had the same shirt on, the same pants. I put sneakers on because I'm you know I'm getting old, yes. so I can't. I'm not walking around in you know shoes. Right. Like an adult. And, um, dude, I couldn't walk five feet without somebody pulling me in a different direction, wanting to take pictures. Mm. Seriously, I felt yeah. like like a movie star. It, it was like it paparazzi. Was... Oh, Carlos, turn here. Turn here. Carlos. Oh, Carlos. <laughs> yeah, and, and it wasn't, you know, like, it wasn't it, 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 nothing creepy about it, but it was, it was just sincere. Right. Uh, just, I, it, it, you know, uh, full-grown adults young people that just graduated people yeah. our age i mean just everybody man and it was just uh yeah um an overwhelming response and it was quite humbling and uh, it just felt really 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 good but i knew i and we talked about it i go listen i um like in the comedy world and I, this isn't a set stone because sometimes you have three people that are headliners and somebody's got to go first you know what i mean on a mm -hmm. three-person show mm -hmm. Traditionally, the youngest guy or the least experienced person would would go first. You know what I mean, like right. the host, right. which is really a good host is the uh, an anchor for the rest of the show. Because if that person oh, yeah. eats oh, yeah. it, you, know, you might set the tone wrong. So they have to have a certain right. level of skill. But it's typically not the biggest name, I guess, the most popular right. person. Right. So. You know, I understand that a lot of people know who I am, you know, and um, so anyway, I went up and I, and I told them, I said, I'm going to go, I'm going to make it hard for people to follow me. So nothing personal. Yeah. But that, that was my intent. But, you know, Amber's thing is, is a more right. serious, a little, a little sadder story yeah. and it goes down yeah. another, another road. And the last, uh, Dr. Dr. Franklin A, I can't pronounce his last name comes yeah. out super energetic he plays music he's he's singing and rapping nice. all over this 50 cent tune uh and oh, just wow. told his story and the dude just had boundless energy and it was it was it was a good nice. sandwich to have her in the middle you right. know yes. and um yes. excuse me i've got something in my eye i can't this is driving me crazy i don't know what it is are you crying no 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 i, I legit got something in my eye this time <laughs> 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 no, it's not my usual crying, my usual weepiness. It's um, right, it's yeah, that'll something. come later. <laughs> but, dude, did you see that stage? Did you see the pictures? Yeah, so I saw the picture, and I mean, you expected like thousands, at least a thousand, if not more, hygienists or didn't. I mean, it's mostly hygienists because RDH under one roof is made for RDHs. Um, and yeah, like, like our the people. exposure. It's awesome. And oh, yeah. that's the thing, though. You're, we bring something to 
the the dental field that is not really being done and it's not focused on and it's not frankly sometimes it's not taken as seriously but humor is so needed so for you to be up there on the mega session as part of this whole thing i feel like this is what people needed uh, you know it's it's a whole new it's a new world right now and people definitely need the um the the humor to kind of break up the monotony of clinical work they need the the break from just living life you know <laughs> so I, I and you more. brought that i'll say this so you, you know, did I, good i i pushed it it took I, it was a gamble it was a calculated risk and yeah. and i'm like should i stay super sterile and church clean or should i just be honest <laughs> You know, yeah, just throw a little something, little and sprinkling. I, I, of I threw something. a little, you know, a little flavor in there, and uh, you know, it wasn't, <laughs> you know, it's not a nightclub, it's not the the late show, right, right, at the punchline where you know, you know, there's, and, and that's what I like about stand up because it's it's a Jesus man, this thing in my eyes drive me crazy. I don't know what it is. Um, that's what I like about stand up because that's kind of like the last true. You, where you can really give your opinion mm -hmm. on something and it's just an opinion it's just you know free speech right. and you can just say whatever whatever you want you know i'm not going out of my way to to, to hurt anybody's feelings or, or hurt anyone right um and we i don't, just want to we be don't as entertaining about, as possible yeah yeah know, we and we're not into the heated topics we're not into the vulgarity and and that sort no, of thing so for all that. we yeah, and I feel like we're we're good for family listening. Things. Did you? <laughs> oh, we're yeah. we're good for older children type families. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> um, you would have loved. It, I know. Seriously. I'm I'm really I'm really upset. I didn't come. I should have come. Like especially knowing that you were going to be there, I should have been there. You know. <laughs> People were asking about you. I know. I'm a loser. I pushed a little bit and um. Not, yeah. not one person said, "Hey, that was you know that was too much." And you know, because yeah, like, I'm telling ooh, a, here's a, the line a vulnerable and... <laughs> story about what happened to me and and my right. take on it, my um, perspective on it, and that's the whole thing right. of what we do is just manage to change perspective. Yes. Yeah, yeah. So that's how yeah, I see it, awesome. and I make fun of it, and uh, I don't know. It was just. Uh, it, it, it couldn't have gone better. It, I mean, it was probably one of the coolest things I've ever done. And the room yeah. was immense. Yeah. And like a, like a wedding. Oh, yeah. You could have a wedding in there. Like a, giant, a huge like, yeah. ballroom where they open all the partitions. It's a great room. It's like huge. It was probably one of the coolest things I've ever done. And you could almost, I don't know if it's legit that size, but it felt like you could stick a football field inside of it. That's how big the room was. You know what I mean? Yeah. They're huge. They're huge. Oh, yeah. Mm -hmm. Maybe leave the end zones off, but that's how big it was on the inside. It was immense. Yeah. It was ridiculous. Yeah. And, um, and it was full. Anyway. It was full. It was pretty that's full. That's awesome. It was pretty full. So it just felt good. And, you know, I'm sorry that you couldn't have been there because uh, I, I, I know I know we're friends and all that and we do this. But you, 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 you make me feel good because you you laugh at my dumb jokes that you've heard a thousand times. And uh, I have. And they still know. make me laugh. Uh, I, was... I think it's it's. It, it's just a, uh, um, it's, um, what do they call it? It's a nod to the relationship that you and I have. Uh, we're just kind of, we connect on that silly humor level, you know? So I, I can listen it. to your jokes a million times and just laugh my little butt off. So <laughs> what, what I think uh, what tickled me was the response of like the, the other speakers. Like I could hear the speakers, you know, on my, t I recorded it. I'll send yeah. you a copy. Uh, off on the left where we were sitting, um, yeah. I left it on the chair recording, and I can hear the lady that was sitting behind me laugh. And then while I was on stage, I can see Sonia Dunbar off to my right laughing, like at the edge of the stage, yeah. you know, while I was doing my thing. And it was just, it was right. one of the coolest things. Anyway, I feel, I feel like I'm bragging, but, um, and people go, well, hopefully they'll bring you back. Hopefully they'll, they'll do something else with you again. I'm like, yeah, yeah they, they need to. So, um, I think it's it, that was a definitely a pivotal, uh, a transformative moment where 
I think yeah. I, I kind of you, you sort of like when you do stand up or you do anything, I guess, you know, you mm-hmm. you, you, plat, you, ra- you rise and you plateau and you rise and you plateau. It's sort of like doing karate, you know, your first yeah. few belts, they come in kind of quick. But the more yeah. skilled you get at it, there's longer mm-hmm. periods between you leveling up. And, and they I expect think I, more I th- out of you. Yeah. It's harder. It takes longer. You got to do it for longer before you can level up one. And I think that yeah. um, that happened on Friday. I think I definitely bumped up to like a, a national dental stage. And even though I've been doing shows all over the country in little pockets, but that right. was a, a, a in, an amalgam, if you will, of just people from all kinds of from all over the country, all in one place yeah. to see me. So they're going to take that gonna... information back and hopefully it leads to something. So we'll see. Yeah, I was going to say, it's going to open a lot of doors for you that that um, that you just didn't have that exposure to get to these other doors. But I feel like, yeah, that's going to make a big difference with your stand-up and everything. So I'll just yeah. ride them coattails and Come on, man. do the podcast. And <laughs> uh-huh. So, um, no, that's awesome. I'm really glad you were there um, to do that. It was an awesome opportunity. And if Elijah, so he's the one that hooked you up with that. That is freaking amazing. So yeah, yeah. Another we remember another. Well, gosh, we we owe Elijah big time because he got us together, and then he got the like. He's just been amazing. Yeah. So I'm, yeah. I'm doing mentorship um, with him next month, and like in two three weeks. Oh, that's and, awesome. Um, yeah, that's that's the weekend of my birthday. So. Um, uh. And he's like, yeah, you know, we, you always have room for another mentor. And, uh, I, you know, honestly, in my mind, I don't see myself as that. But I think I've from 2017 mm-hmm. till last Friday. From never knowing anyone there to, you know, what I mean, to, to this past yeah. weekend. Yeah, it, it's the change has been astronomical, you know, considering, you know, what right. I, I, I do my day thing, you know, with Driven Dental and then. I get to do yeah. that. I, I don't know. I'm just very blessed and very lucky that I get to to hang out with cool people that I like, you know. And what is that? Is that a is that a raccoon? What is that? Jeez. Yeah, it's a trash panda. No. <laughs> John decided we needed one of these in the camper because it wasn't full enough. So it wasn't full enough. It's half Maine Coon. She's really sweet. She doesn't have a name yet, but um, if you look up a Maine Coon, uh, you'll see how huge they get. Oh no, I know. She's not going to she's not going to get that big because she's half. But I think um maybe we'll turn back into cat people when these puppy dogs are angels. But yeah, I'd like to have a huge freaking Maine Coon one day. Anyway. Damn, yeah, so she's a freaking bobcat running around the yeah. the camper, yeah. <laughs> Yeah, she's learning her boundaries. Hey, everybody. We are brought to you in part by the Dental Avengers Summit. It's coming up in December. It's virtual, so you have no excuses. We are going to be hosting it. Live event. It's going to be amazing. There's a ton of CE and a ton of great information for your friends, oh, yes. family, for yourself. Because um, if we're not good, how can we take care of other people? Amazing speakers, December 3rd through 5th. Check it out. Offyourflosser.com under the Preferred Partners tab. Holly Ann Mitchell is a hypnotist, and she's going to hypnotize us. Uh, probably to be like chickens or something, but I don't know. Yeah, it's going to be embarrassing, <laughs> but stay tuned, yep. guys. Thank you. Yep. Go floss, Go floss yourselves. yourselves. So uh, I'll just update real quick on the house. We've got trusses. They went up today. What? And it's funny because I'm, I'm home sick today. So it was nice to, like, I got to see the process of them. Huge crane picking up these big old, uh, you know, trusses. And it's amazing. Dude. And it's shaping up really nice. And I'm, like, really excited. And then every single day I think about how much money I'm going to have to... Hey, dude, don't even worry about that, bro. Just I know I'm just going to do it and then we'll pay it it. off. It'll be fine. This cat is going to be the death death of me. (sighs) I I wouldn't even worry about it. Just it is what it is. You know, I've gotten to the point where I try not to worry about too much out of my direct control. It's hard. It's hard to let go, but you got to because it is. It is. 
Yeah. I, it'll be okay. Like, I mean, yeah. I, I, I have a plan, you know, and we are being very, very um, cautious with money and stuff like that right now. Yeah. Um, you know, cause we sold our house and there was, somebody told me a story about these people that sold their house. And they were going to build a shop and live in the shop and then build a house. Right. But they, I think they put the foundation down and then they blew all the money. They got like some gigantic brand new truck and, and, and a new car. And now the money that they made off of their house is gone. So now they have just a foundation of a house. They don't have... Uh, money to really put down on the house. And yeah, I mean, you can get loans and stuff like that, but sure. ever since John and I worked so hard and we did Dave Ramsey's plan, you know, not to a T, but we worked really hard to pay off all of our debt and now to be incurring more is just, you know, it gives you a little bit of a, a heart attack. Oh yeah. You know, yeah, give a, a, definitely a nauseous feeling. Um, but you know, if I know you, I know you're not spending anything, um, you know, trying ab- above and beyond, you know, living. We're expenses. actually eating. But here at the end of the day, you know, even if you have a mortgage, you know, you're living in a badass brand new house. I mean, true, shit, true. Shit could, could um, be worse. You know what I mean? <laughs> as a matter of fact, over the last few days, we've basically had ramen for dinner. But no, not for nothing, dude. I love ramen, man. I don't know if I want to. I know. To, if, I was going to say, we've been sick. John got sick, and then I got sick. So we've been eating ramen because it's good, and it's warm, mm. and it's we we hope it's good for us while this sickness is going on. And it doesn't hurt that it's like a dollar for five million packs of it. So. No. <laughs> I think I think if you buy 20 packs, they give you three bucks. You know what I mean? I think that's how, yeah. that's how cheap it yeah. is. Yeah. Um, yeah. yeah, and you can spice it up, dude. <laughs> Throw an egg in that oh, sucker. Yeah. Maybe some old chicken. John, chop it up. I'm sure John. Yeah, knows how to John hook you did. Up. A, we did a scrambled scrambled egg, cut up some onion and stuff like that. Uh, oh, wow. So yeah, that's a damn so, stew yeah. when John gets his hands on it. You know? <laughs> he's, he's gourmet, gourmet mm. ramen. I would like see. to go to a restaurant that has like real ramen that they make. Like you know what I mean? I think that would be awesome. Oh yeah. Like where it was just dough ten minutes ago. Yeah, have you ever had it? Mm-mm. It's probably really, really mm. good. It probably is. Let's find a restaurant halfway in between, and we'll drive and meet. Yeah. And have some. Um. You know, have you had pho? <laughs> what the pho? Yeah. <laughs> no, but I've heard of it. Um. It's it's not it's not the same. I don't know why I brought it up, but um, I have friends that introduced me to that <laughs> and. Yeah, is it good? I'm like, w- what is it? Because it's it looks like it's P H O, like phone. You know, I'm like, yeah, I would say pho or something like that, but yeah, it's pho. Where a few years ago, I come home and uh, my daughter, you know, she's kind of trendy or whatever, so she was she had tried tried it with some friends, and I go, hey, we went to that um, pho place uh, off of Jimmy Carter Boulevard. And she goes, what was the name of it? And I go, <laughs> pho twenty pho. <laughs> <laughs> she goes so it's a fun place that's open 24 hours I go yeah she's like you're an idiot <laughs> <laughs> I'm like yeah I never denied it yeah and um, it's okay but it's a damn it's a lot of soup dude is it yeah I went in hungry right and I go let me get yeah. a medium and my buddies were like don't get a large so I got a medium and they brought me a small sink Filled with soup. I mean, it, 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 it had to be a gallon. It felt, honest yeah. to God, like mm. half a gallon of soup. Who needs that much damn that much soup? <laughs> soup? You know, is it because but, you know, we're Americans? It up, make a long story short, it's it's okay, but it's super filling and it's a lot of wet. It's a lot of it's soup. So I mean, what do you, what do you think I mean, it'll enough? fill you up, right? But Dude. so, did they serve you like that because you're American? Because I feel like. They always think that Americans just eat and eat and eat and eat. No, I don't know. I think that might be like it could be a family size serving of it, but oh. you can only eat so much soup. It was right. It was good, but it was too much. It was ridiculous. It'll fill you up. Yeah. 
there's a there's a place called Saigon here, um, and it's uh, yeah, it's I think it's Vietnamese food, and they they serve big bowls of soups and stuff but they give you a side of like lemongrass and cilantro and onion and all these different things that you put into the soup and i'm adventurous like i'll just throw everything in there and then you got your little they have sriracha on the table so you could spice it oh, up yeah. a little bit oh, it's pretty good dude and then covid happened and i haven't been back since covid so i got a little punch card i can't wait my friend um my friend from colorado she's my high school best friend um, she, she just texted me out of the blue and she was like, how's the house coming along? And I was like, oh, it's great. We're getting trusses. And, uh, I said, oh, you should come out and visit. So like, it's, I can't wait to be able to host people in the house. Sure. That'd be nice. Yeah. yeah, yeah. Anyway. You mean yeah. you're not hosting right so, now in the camper? Yeah. We're doing a three course, five course meal in the camper tonight. Black tie <laughs> affair. It's going to be great. We're going to have servers, waiters, waiters, wait staff. Oh, speaking of that, guess what I've been watching? I've been binging since I've been sick. What's up? Let me give you a hint. <laughs> Would you like a spotty, sir, <laughs> with your crumpets <laughs> and a bottle of water? <laughs> Can you guess? Have, what is that, Harry Potter? I have no idea. What? Oh my gosh! It's down to Abby. <laughs> oh wow! It's actually down really good. Down to Nabi. Uh, it's actually really good. And to watch like the old ways that uh, people did things, the wait staff, the oh my gosh! Like I would love to live like that just for just for a little bit. I think I would get That's tired of it after a while. Things. Really rich people. Like they have people dress them. That's how crazy it is. Wait, like, for the ladies or the guys too? Both. Both. It's crazy. Is you that should because those gowns the... were elaborate or they were just lazy? I I feel like it's a little bit of not laziness, but it's just the way it's done. And it's a little bit of both, like because they wear yeah. lots of clothes. And some of them are very intricate and they and you probably need help. But I feel like part of it is not laziness, but that's just how it's done when you have money. Like, you don't go outside and, and do work. You don't pick up things for yourself. You don't clear your own dishes. Like, it's just yeah. not how it's done. Like, yeah. <coughs> it's just a different class. In like one of the episodes, the, the, the mother-in-law comes from America to visit, and she's just like... You guys are crazy. This is, you know, get with the times, you know. But it's it's part of it is, is is retaining all that tradition and stuff like that, and maintaining what it and keeping it from. <coughs> Excuse me. Um, I think the most recent episode is around 1920. Hmm. Okay. So they just. That it was set in the tens and twelve. It was 1912 or something like that because there was a war going on, and they talked about that. Uh, and now they're getting into the twenties. Yeah. Gotcha. Yeah, it's pretty interesting. I went to the chiropractor this morning. Unrelated to, to the 1920s. Yeah, not really related. Uh, I'm sure they had chiropractors back then. Huh. They also did bloodletting. Where they cut you and let you bleed and think that that's going to heal you. Did They'll they do figure. it with leeches or was it actual cutting? Oh, they did both. Like you, the barber shop, you know, the red and white little pole outside the barber shop. It's the symbol, something or other, because they would do the bloodletting or something like that. Barbers did a lot, and now they just cut hair and stuff. They used I'm to like, pull what? teeth. Yeah. Yeah. So. Yeah. Yeah, they probably had chiropractors. They probably called them like wizards or something back then. Dude, I saw a video. You know, I'm like into like chiropractic videos, right? Yeah. Yes, and I, I want to say this was like Bangladesh. I'm not making fun of it, right? But the guy's okay. in for uh, like a whole scalp massage, shave, haircut, Ooh. neck cracking, right? And the guy, <laughs> the barber. When you got done, like, you know, they shave your hair, your neck up, and, you know, they trim up your yeah. beard. With a straight he was blade? slapping. 
Yeah, like a, like a straight edge, yeah. But he was slapping yeah. the guy with like aftershave. Oh yeah. And I, and I don't mean like patting it on. I mean slapping the bejesus out of this guy. You, all oh you heard my. was just slap, and I and I'm like, wow, wow. It looked, it, it was very funny. Um, is is that what kind little, of haircut you like want next time? I think I'm stuck with this look, man, for the rest of my life, probably. Yeah, but you, you could know? have somebody cut your hair with a straight edge. That would actually be kind of cool, though. I think it would. Yeah, I'd do that. Just if give I, it a if whirl. If I found somebody I trusted, you know. Yeah, yeah. When you get uh, when you get rich and famous, sir, um, you can find you a nice barber, um, and have have him slap you with ap- aftershave. Oh, that's gonna sting a little bit. It might Dude. sting a little, but yeah. hey, pain. <laughs> No pain, no gain, right? That's it. That's that's what happens, you know. Beauty, um, beauty takes work. Yeah, I, I, I'm excited, man. I, I booked a thing for, uh, excuse me, for Vegas, and uh, I got Chris Cameras thing. I'm doing stand up there. I'm doing stand up for um, a hospital, St. Joseph's, for oh, nuns. Wow. Oh Lord. Did you accept September. it? Yeah, I accepted for it. For nun, you said for nuns, nuns, like Catholic nuns. Yes. Oh, Carlos. Straight up, you nuns. know you're gonna go to hell after this, huh? Th- you, there's no way you're gonna survive that. Oh, dude, it's gonna be fine. The nuns, oh, they're gonna have the rulers out ready to smack you. <laughs> oh my gosh. Carlos. The guy goes, oh. listen, he goes, they're, they're, oh my God. he goes, they're nuns. They're not dead. And there's going to be alcohol. He goes, we're Catholics. And I'm like, oh, well, as long as they got a little couple, couple glasses of wine oh in them, I think I'll gosh. be okay. What do you think? Are you going to come up with some, uh, some new, uh, stuff catered just to them? Some nun material? Yes. I think um, you should. Just I a couple, find a funny just story. a couple little sprinkled gems in there. From being, from from going to Catholic school when I was a kid, you know. Oh yeah. Oh, you know? oh man, this is ah, oh, that's hilarious. I'm a little scared for your uh, salvation now, though. Oh, you might be scared, <laughs> or it might be it might cement it in. I don't know. I can. I can use that it could go either way. <laughs> oh, go you're either gonna way. go to a nunnery. <laughs> yeah. But you know they're stressed out, and and some of these people. The one lady was the actual the uh, the chaplain that was dealing with um, families of people that were dying from COVID. You know what I mean? Ugh, yeah. So if anybody needs to laugh, yeah. it's these guys. You know, it's some nuns. And yeah, it's the 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 nuns. Whew. You know, which I never really cared for for that name, nuns. I think they should be called like sums. Or you know. most, most. Um. So yeah. So that's that's gonna be a thing. I'll let you know how that goes. You know, if you don't see me afterwards, you, you'll know you'll know what happened. If I don't you know see you up in heaven near yeah. the pearly gates, I'll know what it was. I told him not Damn, to take that, that one gig. joke. Oh. I told him not to take that gig. They were like, I killed much. it. I killed it literally. Yeah. But you know, here, it's the thing. It's it's not about money for that one. But I think it's a it's just a group of people that uh. That, that need, need to it. laugh. And, uh, I think everybody needs to yeah. laugh, man. Life is too heavy. I so. hear you. Um, and that like, is yeah. exactly why we're bringing this to the world. You, I had I can't tell you how many people asked about you. Like, who? Well, I can't, Probably I, lighthearted I members. Because there's a lot tell. of lighthearted time, people I, I saw. Yeah, yeah. People were like, oh, is Sandy here? Like, they saw me. They were like, okay, hey, yeah. Uh, is Sandy here? I'm like, no. Like, can you, can you move... Where's Sandy? Uh, uh, no. <laughs> yeah, I, uh, yeah. At the end of my life, I will look back and regret not being there. Yeah, I messed well, up. Messed I say, up well, you need to double down and and smash in October. For it smiles at sea. That's all I'm. That's all I'm. Gonna oh suggest, yeah, yeah. Because you know? we're gonna be hosting. I think it'll be awesome. I think it, yeah. it's gonna be amazing. And uh, the way we play off of each other, I mean, people like 
I don't know. They, they've they been very complimentary about how we interact and stuff like that. So I think it'll be really awesome to host uh, Smiles at Sea and stuff. It so. feels natural. And then the it's, Wellness it's... Summit, the the Dental Avengers Summit down in, uh, down oh, in uh, over in L.A., yeah. that's going to be a lot of fun, too. So Yeah, we need but, to murder that, too. Um, oh, we'll murder it. We will murder it. And, uh, yeah, so I'm excited. I think we got a lot of things coming up. And, um, yeah. So, yeah, we just keep it, keep it going. We keep do. it going. But listen, I hate to run, but I got to get ready. I got to sort of just, uh, clear off my desk and make the house a little presentable. It's, it's not yeah, the house. Everything is good. It's just my office. It looks like somebody chucked a grenade on it and kind of left. I there. can't imagine that your office would be unorganized. Why do you say that? Because <laughs> I'm lying. <laughs> not not very effectively. Um, yeah. Yeah, it's it's a little unkept, man, and uh, I need to get it together. Unkempt? Saying, I need you, to, I need you, real quick, I need you to talk me out, out of doing something. Okay. I'm good at this, maybe. Uh, right. No, actually, I'm the opposite, but tell me. All right. You know the camera I just bought, right? Yes. It's returnable up till, like, the 6th or 7th of August, right? Yeah. Sony just today announced the successor to this camera. Okay? Uh-huh. This has a built-in lens, so you're stuck with that focal length. Yes. It zooms in so far, it's only this this wide, okay? The okay. new one has interchangeable lenses. Okay? What's the price difference? It's a couple hundred dollars. <clears throat> and I already eh. have lenses for it. And I'd I'm thinking, return the one you have. What's that? I'd return the one you have. A couple hundred bucks, that's nothing. Especially know, when you're, like, jet-setting, like, to famedom, stardom. But no, uh, no, no I, 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 I don't have any money, but the, <laughs> I have the older camera, the older Sony camera that has interchangeable lenses. And that will give me, if I want to take really, really good pictures, that's what I would use. You know what I mean? So I don't, yeah, but, but that would give me okay. the best of both worlds, right? In one, in one, one camera. Yeah. Why well, do it with two when you could do it with one? I'm not, I'm not good at this, Carlos, because John, yeah, you didn't, you didn't help me. John was on, John was on Craigslist for whatever he was looking for. And he came across this cat and look what we have now. Yeah. Yeah. yeah I'm probably asking the wrong person. And then John wanted a tractor, and what did we do? We went out and bought a tractor. I'm just, I'm just like, <sighs> granted, we, you know, we we saved for it, and we knew it was going to come, and and we we didn't go into debt for these things, but still, I, I I'm kind of like I'm a spender. I'm really a spender. So if John wants something, we get it. If I want something, I get it within reason. You know. Got it. So the camera's not being would, launched to the end of August. I think I tra- that's a month. Trade it in. That's a month and a week. Return the one you have. Deal with the older version until the new one comes out. Bam! Take that money. Put it towards the new one. Get you got lenses for it. You're set, and you upgraded. Damn it! You're right. I am right, Carlos. You will realize that most of the time that is the case. Oh, oh that's Thursday. Y'all don't forget. Well, it'll be, this will come out after, but okay. the live demo with Tom Jackson and the auto flosser. Okay. Um, and if you guys miss that, you don't have to worry because we have a link so you can join the ambassadorship for the auto flosser. And you can also find the Facebook group. It's called the auto flosser ambassadors. Um, and you can learn more. It doesn't obligate you to do anything. It's just um, making yourself um, a part of the club, basically. But, All um, right. Well, I better go uh, fix myself some ramen or something. So there you go. <laughs> Enjoy, splurge, and uh, I'm gonna get ready for company. Yeah. So that's gonna be exciting. And uh, Sanjay, I hope you feel better, man. Uh, oh, I will. I'm on uh, I'm getting there. It's nothing serious. Yeah. It's not like COVID or anything, right? It's just just a summertime <laughs> cold. No, like I'm just really nasally obviously and i'm congested and i had a killer headache the other day into my teeth 
you know how people will come into the dental office and go, oh my God, all my teeth on this side hurt. Oh, I yeah. think I have an abscess or something, and it's just their sinuses being inflamed and stuff. And I think that's going on. And, yeah, yeah. Um, you know, bad cough, and I have that rattly breath. Like if I. <sighs> it's that Sounds wheezy like a zombie, cough. Zombie, son. You know? <coughs> yes, I think I'm turning into one, unfortunately. God. All right, well, listen. Yeah, please. but. Cover your neck oh. up or whatever it is you need to do and stay stay healthy, man. Yeah. Let me let me just close with this. There is a movie that is I think it's a German movie, but it's it's in English for most of it, and then you can turn subtitles on or it has subtitles, but it's called Blood Red Sky. I think that's it. And it's on Netflix. It's pretty good. I liked it. Really? But yeah, yeah, it's okay. about um well, if you watch the preview preview, you will know that it's about vampires. So, but it's pretty good. Yeah. And then uh I'm going to get back to Bridge to uh, Bridgerton? No. I already watched all that. Uh Down to Nabby and find out what's going on with the next marriage scandal or death or murder or whatever. Well, you do that yeah. and uh I figure am. it out for the I rest am. of us. I will, and, I uh, shall. This is uh, episode yeah. 145. Yeah. Getting close and to you're the welcome. end, folks. <laughs> <laughs> you're welcome for the humor we provide, or try to anyway. We try. We sometimes try. sometimes we suck, but, yeah. you, know. you know. It can't all be jazz. Can't win them all. You know? <laughs> yeah. yeah. You know, all right, I'm going to go slap this cat around. I'm just kidding. Ugh. She'll slap you around. That's true. That is true. Yeah. Check out offyourphilosopher.com for our links. Visit our yep. preferred Everything's partners there. and uh, show them a little bit of love if there. you can. Uh, Auto Flosser will this will be this will come out afterwards, um, but yep. uh, yeah, we'll we'll post that up and uh, we'll go from there. Last words, Sandra? and then uh, good? yeah, I keep just you Sandra uh, today. I know I thought that was weird, but it's cool. Is that it's kind of right? different, you know. It's a little more, um, a little more, uh, you know class i guess um but yeah cool. and then the dental avengers uh summit coming in oh, december yes. 3rd through 5th don't forget that awesome yes I can't yeah wait. and you can go find that on our website too information well, for that All thanks right. again for listening we appreciate the support uh if you've got some cool funny thing you want to share go to uh email us at off your flosser at uh, gmail.com 25674 floss uh, you can also find all that on our website, offyourflosser.com. Peace out. Thank you. Yes. Right. And, uh, all go right. Floss go yourselves. floss yourselves. Yes. Go floss yourselves. Boom. Oh.